Hello everyone. In this video we're going to be solving an exponential equation. x plus 1 over x to the power x equals 4 over 25. I guess we could call this a somewhat super exponential equation. Let's start by using the natural log on both sides. Now if we ln both sides, we're going to be able to bring the x down. So we can kind of write it as a coefficient x times ln x plus 1 over x equals ln 4 over 25. And 4 over 25 can be written as 2 over 5 squared. And we can do the same thing for 2 over 5. So we kind of have a one to one correspondence, sort of. So can I safely say that x is equal to 2, right, from here? That's actually not the case, because if x is 2, then we're going to have 2 plus 1 half, which is equal to 5 halves. If we don't get 2 fifths, well, guess what? We get the reciprocal, so that should mean something. Anyways, before we proceed with some cases, let's go ahead and take a look at the graph real quick. The graph of x plus 1 over x to the power x, and then the horizontal line 4 over 25, which is a little, which is a somewhat uh, close to 1 over 6, right? Very small number. They don't intersect, which means there are no real solutions. Let's find out. So we're going to be look at we're going to be looking at some cases such as if x is between zero and one. Think about it like something like one third, one half. Then obviously one over x is going to be greater than one. Why am I looking at these two things? Because we're going to be adding them. But you don't need it if x is positive. Then x plus one over x is going to be greater than two. You can actually prove this by looking at the sign of x plus 1 over x minus 2, and this should be positive, right? Or you could use AMGM. What does that mean? It means if x is positive, x plus 1 over x is greater than 2, and when you raise this to the power x, this is going to be greater than 2 to the power x, and obviously you're kind of talking about a fractional power, and that's definitely going to be greater than 1 because for 0, 2 to the power 0 is 1. Make sense? Obviously, as n approaches infinity, we can say that this approaches 0, but it's always going to be greater than 1. Therefore, it can never equal 4 over 25, which means we have no solutions. So that means x cannot be between 0 and 1. Actually, it's more like, let's see. If x is greater than 1, then x means positive, so it's still going to give us the same thing. So in other words, if x is positive, we don't get a solution, which means x cannot be positive. Can x be 0? No, because we have 1 over x, that's going to make it undefined. Therefore, x needs to be negative. Awesome. Now, once we realize that, actually, things are good, because think about it. If x is negative, x plus 1 over x is going to be negative as well. And notice that we are raising x plus 1 over x to the power x, and we're getting a positive quantity, and this is positive, right? How do you get a how do you get a positive from a negative quantity? If you said even numbers, you got it. So x is probably even. So under these conditions, let's go ahead and manipulate our expression one more time and see what happens. So when I first attempted with the natural log to try to compare these two things, I can't really make a one-to-one -one correspondence because in this case x is positive. Makes sense? x equals 2 is not going to work. I'm sorry, that's, that's supposed to be an x. So x equals 2 is not going to work. So we kind of have to invert things. Here's how we can do it. We start with x plus 1 over x to the power x. Set it equal to 2 over 5 squared, but let's write it as 5 halves to the power negative 2. This basically turns the exponent to a negative immediately, but we're not ready to compare one to one yet. So let's do a little bit of more. Five halves can be written as two plus one half. And this actually almost does the trick. But notice that if x is negative two, we are adding two positives, but that's not going to work because x is negative, right? So what are we supposed to do? Take advantage of the even powers. Five halves to the power of negative two is also negative 5 halves to the power of negative 2, because when you raise a negative number to an even power, you get a positive number. Of course, we're talking about even integers here, right? Something like negative 2 thirds would be totally different. That's a different story. But in this case, we are basically getting what we want, because if you kind of get rid of this, 
and set that equal to x plus 1 over x to the power x. Hopefully you do see the one one to one correspondence right here. X must be negative 2. And yes, we got the solution. Is that the only solution? That's a good question. I think it is. I don't think we can find another negative value. Could we use Wolfram alpha or maybe Lambert's W function? Anyways, this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.